Welcome to our educational channel. In quantitative aptitude, let us see the chapter or this topic logarithms. So the basic uh, information and what the basic formula we will see and what is the logarithm definition and how to solve the problems and examination point of view. Let us see the topic wise uh, step by step one by one. Now when you observe this, we are the familiar with the simple exponential identity. So this is uh, a to the power x a to the power x is equals to b and a is the base x is the exponent and b is the result so for example 2 to the power 3 is equals to 8 this is the basic exponential form we are familiar about this not only this okay 3 to the power 2 is equals to 9 that means 3 into 3 is 9 so in this this uh, 3 is called the base and 2 is the exponent and this 9 is the final result okay this is the step same a power x is equal to b so a is the base and x is the exponent and this b is the result now same example so 2 power 3 is equal to 8 such type of examples we can write in logarithmic form also so or else once if you observe square root of 4 is equal to 2 same this we can write 2 into 2 is equal to 4 square root of 4 means 2 square also 4 another way 2 into 2 is 2 square is equal to 4 the meaning is, is both are same but in the square root form is a square form root 4 is equal to 2 then 2 square is equal to 4 so it's another way by saying now similarly even come to the logarithms a to the power x is equal to b this we can express in logarithmic form that is log b to the base a is equals to x same we can read this as log b to the base a is equals to x here is a to the power x is equal to b a is the base x is the exponent and b is the result but in this a is the base now log b to the base a is equals to x so same concept but this is in a exponential form this we can convert into log uh, logarithmic form is like this let us see this example. Okay, what is the previous example? 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. This is in exponential form. Okay, some base to the power is equal to some result. This is a exponential form. This we can write in logarithmic form is just you can keep the log instead of logarithm full word first three letters, right? Log to the base 2. What are the base? Same base. There is not change. And this 8 will come here and this power 3 as a result here. So this power becomes as result. Okay, this is the converting. So log 8 to the base 2 is equal to 3. So let us see how the problems we can solve in this also. For example, any logarithmic, they are not given any base, then 10 is the base for default. Okay, for example, log 7 is equal to some x. That means log 7 to the base 10. If not given any base, they not mentioned speci uh, specifically the base value then 10 is the base by default okay if no base is given assume that base is a 10 same so okay log 2 to the power x is equal to 4 there is no base means 10 as the base you can take okay just some examples right and main thing you need to remember this is the conversion exponential form to logarithmic form right a power x is equal to b is an exponential then logarithmic form is log b to the base a is equal to x not only this, anything you can take. For example, a to the power b is equals to c. Yeah, now this how we can write in logarithmic form. You should keep the log word. Base is same, you remember. And these both are just interchange. So c is here is equals to b. That means log c to the base a is equal to b. So notation, the meaning is same, but this is an exponential form and this is in logarithmic form. Okay, using this form and what are the basic formulas? and uh, some more problems also you'll see hardly will get uh, main three formulas you'll use in logarithmic so proofs are not required for you but if you see log x and so anyway you can the plus is there you can keep minus log x into y you can write this is log x plus log y if it was into symbol you can separate it with the plus symbol remember that and log x by y so some base is 10, if they are not given base means base is 10, same base you can apply throughout. 
we also basis 10. Now this we can write log x minus log y. Okay, this to earn base 10 if not mentioned specifically. And similarly, one more is log if x to the power m, then m we can write front m into log x. So what is the power we can keep as before the log word and base 10 as this. If they not mentioned base is 10. So just these three rules will apply mostly, but let us see the numerical sums. Now we'll see the problems in logarithms now one by one. So in numerical sums, let us see some problems here. First question is uh, if log a to the base 3 is equal to 4, then find the value of a. So as we discussed previous, just conversion you remember clearly. So if it is log, yeah, previous you have seen a to the power x. Okay, any example you can take. So if for example, a power x is equals to b. Now this is in same in logarithmic form. So what is saw log b to the base a is equal to x. Okay, these are the both are same. This is in logarithmic form and this is in exponential form. So logarithmic form if they will give convert into exponential form first. And log a to the base 3 is equal to 4. Base 3. So according to the given first log a to the base 3 is equal to 4. Now same thing we can convert into exponential form. Uh, 3 is the base as it is. Right? And 3 is as it is. Same. Here is a and a. Power x. So result is as power x. So result is 4. So 3 to the power 4 is equals to a. Right? Same. Just only converting. Log a to the base 3 is equal to 4 means 3 power 4 is equals to a. According to the simple rule. If they will give an exponential form, convert to logarithmic form according to the requirement of the problem. Here is we need to find out the value of a. So logarithmic form converted into exponential form. Now just to simplify this. 3 to the power 4. So a is equals to 3 4 times. You should multiply. That is 81. Okay, a is equals to 81 here. We can solve in this. Let's see this uh, next question. Find the value of 2 to the power log 5 to the base 2. Actually, we have one formula. Directly, we can remember that. If a to the power, right? a to the power log x to the base a is equal to x directly. a to the power log x to the base a. Here base a and which is the base. Both are same means this x only as a result. And step by step if you see once, let what are the given, what value we need to find out, let it be x. Okay, 2 to the power log 5 to the base 2, let it be take some x. Okay, this is actually formula. We can apply formula means answer is 5. But let us see once again, same 5 will get answer or not according to the, uh, this statement, condition. So according to the exponential form, a power x is equal to b. That is log b to the base a is equal to x. Now this is 2 to the power some value. Okay, 2 to the power something is equal to x is the result. Yeah, same if you convert into logarithmic form, what you should write log. This whatever result that will come for log and base is 2, the power should be as result. That means log 5 to the base 2 as a result. Same converting. Yeah, a power x is equal to b. That's this first uh, problem I wrote for now. A power x is equal to b is converted into logarithmic form is log b to the base a is equal to x. Means what are the base? Same base, just other two only uh, interchange. x plus b, b plus x. Same. 2 is the base, 2 is the base. And x is coming here, this value is b here. Now log x to the base 2, log 5 to the base 2. Log if you just you can cancel that means the remaining is in the place of x exactly what it is there 5. So x is equal to 5. That means the value of this 2 power log 5 to the base 2 is equal to 5 1. Or else this is the formula remember a to the power log x to the base a is equal to x. Same, b power log x to the base b is x only. If these both are same, then whatever this, this will as answer will get. Okay. And these are the few problems. Let us see a few other sums we will see uh, based on other formulas also in logarithms now. So here is the question is, find the value of log 125 to the base 25 
minus log 4 to the base 8. So to solve these type of questions, I'll write one formula here. Log x to the power m and base x to the power n. Okay, log x power m to the base x to the power n. This value is just m divided by n. Okay, remember this. So this is the formula in logarithms. You can find out some formulas in logarithms. According to that, you can solve the sums. Okay, previous I have I show already a uh, three showed right. Now this is one. The formula is log x to the power m to the base x to the power n. When the same bases are same, the answer is m by n, m divided by n. Now question we can convert into in this type of formula, then we can write the answer easily. Okay, now when you notice that log 125 to the base 25 minus log 4 to the base 8. Okay, so here 125 and 25, 5 to the power, some value we can write. How can write 125 is 5 to the power 3 and 25 is 5 q uh, 5 power 2. Because 5 power 3 is 125, 5 into 5 into 5. Minus log 4 we can write 2 square, 8 we can write 2 cube. If it is possible only we can go for this formula. So by observing the question only we need to understand which formulas exist. Yes, now according to this according to formula just m by n. Base are same, 5 and 5. 3 by 2 is this. This value is just 3 by 2 and this value is 2 by 3. That's it. Now we can do the remaining part is easy. Just you can use the LCM. Okay, 9 minus 4 by 6. So 5 by 6 is the answer for this. Right? You can note down this. I'll give I write the formulas wherever they required. So we can write all together in one list. You can practice easily. Now, okay, question number 4 you see here. Okay, if it's clear now, see this. If log x is equals to log 5 plus 2 log 3 minus 1 by 2 log 25, find the value of x. Now to find out this, let us use the formula LHS and RHS with a single log. Okay, you see the solution. Log x is equals to log 5 plus 2 log 3 minus 1 by 2 log 25. So we are, I saw the uh, previous one formula that is what you have discussed uh, m to the power or else m into log x. This you can write log x to the power m or log x power m is equal to m into log x. So this you have seen. Now this you apply same formula for the second and third terms. Right. Then log 5 plus 2 into log 3 is log 3 square according to this minus 1 by 2 you can take it as power 1 by 2 so log 25 to the power 1 by 2 okay that's stuff you can follow and LHS is same log x right now simplify this okay log 5 plus log 3 square is 9 minus log 25 power 1 by 2. 25 you can write 5 square to the power 1 by 2. Okay, next up you can cancel this 2 to it's only log 5. Okay, then what you got log 5 plus log 9 minus again log 5 is there. This you can cancel this log plus log 5 minus log 5 cancel and remaining is log 9 and this uh, LHS is log x. Right now, based on this, we can write final answer. Both are log terms x plus 9, so x is equal to 9. Right, they asked to find the value of x. Yes, so x is equals to 9, we got this is the way. And just previous, I already wrote three formulas in that. This is the third one in that. So, just you apply the formulas so just for the logarithms to solve it. And the main from the given question only, we need to think which step we ought to go. Any before the log, any terms are there, take it as a power for this values. Right? We can simplify in this way. And same using logarithmic formulas, we'll see some more. In this question, so we have log m to the base 10 is equal to b minus log n to the base 10. Find the value of m. Okay, so to solve this type of questions, 
first of all which is given from the take the log terms one side okay so we have here log m to the base 10 is equals to b minus log n to the base 10 so take log terms one side okay that means log m to the base 10 this minus of log n to the base 10 becomes plus log n to the base 10 lhs and rhs is b as it is right now both are base 10 now so we have the formula log m plus log n is equal to log m into n so we saw that starting so from this log m into n to the base 10 is equals to b okay formula it is log m plus log n is equal to log m into n and log m minus log n is log m divided by n so those formulas is already okay here is log m plus log n to the base 10 right same log m into n to the base 10 only we will get that is the value is equals to b now converting this logarithmic form into exponential form convert this logarithmic form to exponential form so what we can take base 10 so same 10 as the base these both interchange so m and this uh, result b will be here like this and m and here so this is logarithmic form to exponential form you already discussed previous convert according to that way now 10 to the power b is equals to m into n but question is find the value of m m value you need to find out so this is m into n so from this 10 to the power b only n take this side and m will be laid okay so according to this therefore m is equals to 10 to the power b by n right this is the value of m this way you can solve so main thing just to apply the formula here log m plus log n is equal to log m into n before that taking the log terms one side and similarly one more question we will see here same with the opposite sign here is a log m yeah, let us solve this also so we have log m to the base 10 is equal to b plus log n to the base 10 okay so according to the method we should take the log terms one side that is log m to the base 10 minus log n to the base 10 is equals to b and log m minus log n is log m by n okay this uh, formula is for this log m by n to the base 10 that is equals to b okay not log m whole divided by log n don't get confused log of m by n now this we can convert into same uh, exponential form so base is 10 to the power b is equals to m by n in this we need to find out the m value same so from this m is equals to n take this side divide by n right take this side so n into 10 to the power b so n into 10 power b that is the value of m okay main important thing in this don't to get confused with this so log of m by n is not equals to log of log m by log n okay this both are not same this is not equal only formula log m minus log n is equal to log m by n okay this is not equal so you need to remember this carefully okay so these are the problems you can solve in this few more sums we will see now Okay, so here is one sum. If log m is equals to b into log n, okay, to the base 10, let me take the base 10 for the both. Okay, we have log m is equals to b into that is log n to the base 10. To show you one more formula, I just am doing this question for you now. We can write this log uh, b, uh, find the log m, m value only we need to find out. So for that, first step, take the log terms one side. That means log m to the base 10 divided by, into symbol, right? This we can write log n to the base 10 is equals to b. And here is one formula is log m by log n. We can write this is log m to the base n. So whenever same base are there log m by log m to the base 10 
by log n to the base 10 is equal to log m to the base n we can write. So this value n base is n. This is actually formula from LHS is equals to b. Right, formula you can take. So the same base should be. If the base is uh, x means it also must be x. Then you can write log m to the base n. Okay, this is the formula we can use. Now logarithmic 2 uh, can convert into exponential form, you'll get the answer directly. So how much you get log m to the base n is equal to b, then base is n. So n to the power b is equals to m. Right? Therefore, m is equals to n to the power b. Same we'll take. n to the power b is equals to m value. Find the value of m they asked. Okay, in this main thing is okay, this is the formula I remember. So LHS log m to the base 10 by log n to the base 10 is equal to log m to the base n. Okay, this you remember. So whenever the problems are required, this formula you can apply. Right. Let us see this next question. If log x plus 2 is equal to log x plus log 2, if log x plus 2 is equal to log x plus log 2, then find the value of x. Actually, this is not formula. In case if it is equal, then what is the value of x they are asking? So we have here that is log x plus 2 is equals to log x plus log 2 is given. And LHS is asked is we can't simplify more. That is log x plus 2. So the not given base means just assume 10 is the base for all. And this RHS is the formula log x plus log 2 that is equal to log x into 2 or 2 into x. Okay, this is the for this formula. So log of x plus 2 is equal to log 2 into x. This part is the formula log 2x. Now both the terms if you can remove this log then remaining is this other values are equal. That is x plus 2 is equal to 2x. Yes, from this you can find out the x value easily. Take the x terms one side, 2x, right? x take right side minus x, already 2 is there. And from this, 2 is equals to 2x minus x is x. Therefore, x is equals to 2. So, x value is 2 now. Just we can calculate easy in this. So, main thing is wherever the formulas are there, you need to apply. So, in this question, so this is the formula applied. In this, already we saw the previous log m plus log n is equal to log m into n. So log x plus log 2 is equal to log 2 into x. So when the both are same, we can equate this both. x plus 2 is equal to x. From that, we can write the value of x. Is in this way, you can solve. Okay, same concept. Uh, we'll see one more also. Let us see one more, some similar like previous. Next, we will see this question also. So if log x minus 2 is equal to log x minus log 2, then find the value of x. Okay, to solve this like same previous problem, LHS, so here is a given that is same log x minus 2 is equals to log x minus log 2, it's the same base, the 10 is the base you can imagine for all. Now, right side you can apply LH, RHS, right hand side you can apply the formula log m minus log n, that is log m by n, right, so it's a formula, log m minus log n that is log m by n same formula for this uh, log x by 2 log x by 2 is log x minus log 2 formula and log x minus 2 is asked is LHS then log terms and this we can equate this both so if you equate this both x minus 2 is equals to x by 2 from this you can find out the x value is easy Okay, this uh, denominator 2 take LHS 2 times x minus 2 is equal to x. Okay, 2x minus 4 is equal to x. Uh, from this, take x uh, LHS. 2x minus x is equal to plus 4. Plus 4 take RHS and x you take inside. Okay, this will be LHS and this is RHS, this is the stuff. And 2x minus x is equal to x, that is equal to 4. x value 4 we got. Okay, main thing, this is the formula log m minus log n is equal to log m by n. And we saw previous one more formula. So log m in 
log m plus log n is log m into n. Okay, those formulas you can apply and will solve that type of questions. And in this uh, one important problem is this tenth one. You can see this type of questions. Here is uh, find the number of digits in 2 power 47. So actually 2 to the power 47 in general we should do 2 47 times should multiply 2 into 2 into 2 set 47 times. So, so it's not possible within the time. But logarithms using logarithms we can use this easily. Log 2 value is given. Log 2 to the base 10 value is 0 0.3010. Now for this type of questions. So applying the rule. So the rule will apply. So the answer is equals to. The required answer is integral part integral part of just integral part of this integral part of which is given you can apply the log log 2 to the power 47 plus 1 so it should take extra 1 plus 1 number this is the rule so answer is equals to so the required answer is integral part of log of which is given plus 1 that is number of digits in this 2 power 47 ok let us see this now so to get the answer integral part of log of 2 power 7 and that means same log so integral part of we can simplify 47 you can write friend 47 log 2 plus 1 ok actually this is the formula what is the formula log x to the power m is equal to m into log x third formula i said in this uh, previous starting log x power m is equal to m into log x so similarly log 2 power 47 is 47 log 2 plus 1 so integral part of this yes we can calculate now so 47 into same integral part of 47 into log 2 value is given 0 0.3010 plus extra 1 and 47 just multiply multiplication is easy with the simple number instead of 2 47 multiplication time and 47 into 0 0.3010 only integral part we need right so approximately this is value is 14.1470 you will get and plus 1 so 14 point something that answer is 47.03 and 14.1470 plus 1 is how much it is 15.1470 so in this only integral part so integral part is equal to only 15 so answer is 15 now that means in 2 power 47 if you calculate this total will get 15 digits so the number of digits if you count total we have the 15 so integral part of in this is the 15 so answer is is equals to 15 ok that is the important thing is apply the formula this so apply the log for this and plus 1 to find out the number of digits not only this for example 3 power 81 how many digits in 3 power 81 so what you should do 81 log 3 plus 1 integral part in this they will give in the question log 2 log 3 values so we can apply and simplify so this is the problem to find out number of digits. So the main use of logarithms are so many are there that this is one of the use. So basic questions you will ask we can apply this concept right and main thing the formulas you remember and logarithms I have done some more uh, videos also along with the formulas you can go through those.